Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai vehicle and with automatic transmission and your uh, your transmission is stuck in gear, let's say it cannot pass that gear, let's say you're in second gear and you cannot shift to third. Okay, we will explain what can easily cause that guys and how to fix it. In most cases, it will cost you only a few dollars to fix it. You don't need new transmission in most cases. So make sure to stand to the end and we will explain what it is. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get together, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from and you can save yourself quite a bit of money so with that being said let's explain what we have here this is the transmission okay valve body solenoid body as well guys right here this is the transmission on that hyundai that same transmission has been used on most hyundai's uh, uh from year 2009 to year 2022 currently guys uh, if you have the six-speed transmission most likely you have this one 90 percent of the hyundai vehicles it just has different okay uh, clutch sizes and uh, different uh, uh, different horsepower and torque specs for different engines anything from 1.2 to 4.0 engine that has been used now what can cause a transmission to be stuck in gear number one guys let's first talk about something else you need to change your transmission fluid okay why most people say it's a lifetime deal in my opinion it's not on my personal vehicles i change it uh, because if you wait too long everything can get clogged up to the point okay that practically guys at that point if you change it you may uh, the transmission may start acting up and what i recommend to do two three flushes because when you drain the uh, transmission oil from the pan what will happen you will drain let's say only about 30 to 40 percent of the transmission fluid so you will need to actually change it three times fill it up run it for let's say 100 miles then change it again guys uh, to make sure that you can flush the transmission okay really really good and change probably about 70 to 80 percent of the transmission fluid now something else guys always use fluid approved by hyundai and i'll recommend to use only the original fluid because even if you use another fluid that's supposed to be approved it can have problems okay we had that problem in the past so hyundai transmission fluid i'll put the link in the description of the video below on most of those okay the transmission filter you cannot even replace it you have to take the transmission apart so that's a good thing why you need to replace the oil quite often as well uh, bad oil will also guys cause okay the uh, dirt and build up around the uh, shifting solenoids those are shifting solenoids that actually change gears okay on your hyundai vehicle uh, and each one of those corresponds to different gear or different things such as torque converter a third and six second and fourth reverse gear and things like that so if that if one of those torque converter quits guys working or gets stuck what can happen okay you can easily get stuck in one gear another thing can do that uh, it's the valve body okay valve body can do it but uh, uh, most likely guys okay you will have a bad solenoid nine percent ninety percent of the time nine out of ten times bad solenoid we'll have a video that explains how to clean and test transmission solenoids on hyundai also it could be bad clutches or internal problems but as i said ninety percent of the time will be bad solenoid and probably uh, next could be bad valve body hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time